Thomas, freshwater crocodiles don't eat trains, especially baby ones. I'm not a baby train. I mean baby crocodiles, Thomas. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Not another bear in my way. Out of the way, you! Thomas! That's no way to treat an animal. But I was just chewing him off the tracks. There are other ways to get animals to move, Thomas, without scaring them. This rainforest is a koala's home, where they deserve to be protected and respected. Maybe it's not such a good idea that you helped me today, Thomas. Thanks for the lift. Sorry, Thomas. Not everyone's cut out to work with the wildlife. Oh, I was only trying to help. I was on my way back down the line again when I noticed something worrying up ahead. That campfire looks pretty big. Oh, fizzling fireboxes! Ranger Jill! There's a bushfire spreading through the rainforest. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Thomas. We need to get to safety down on the coast. Are the animals going to be OK? Most of them will be able to get out of the forest, all right. But what about the koalas? They're so slow. We'll pick them up along the way. Where's the koala with the little white beard? I saw him this morning at the water station. Oh, that's Banjo. He's not here. Oh, no. Poor Banjo. I'll <laughs> find him. Be careful, Thomas. It could be dangerous. Banjo! Banjo! Oh, the water station. I'm coming, Banjo! I don't want to blow my whistle and scare him off. Oh, I know. Grab that branch. Come on, little Banjo. This way. You can do it. Now let's get you to safety. Whoa! Oh, I know Rajiv said I shouldn't, but I really want to see the Monkey Palace. And if I hurry, I won't even be late with the coconuts. Monkey Palace, here I come! <laughs> oh! <laughs> hello, little monkey. Oh, hello! And hello to you, too! <laughs> and... Uh, hello! <laughs> Monkey Palace. I am so glad I came to see this. It's beautiful. <laughs> and you fellas are so funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. You can get down now. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Maybe they really do want me to be their king. But I need to get these coconuts back to Charubala. <laughs> Oh, dear! I didn't mean to frighten you, but I need to go. I'm sorry, but I can't be your king today. <laughs> I don't know what Rajiv was so worried about. Those were some of the nicest monkeys I've ever met. <laughs> What's going on? Is it raining coconuts? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry, but what did you do that for? You almost caused an accident. Sorry, I can't play with you now. I have coconuts to deliver. Ah, oh, 
us. What kept you? Everyone is waiting. Sorry, Charabala Mom. It's just <gasps> that... Uh... Where are all the coconuts? Huh? What do you mean? I did have the coconuts. <gasps> they must have spilled when that pesky monkey made me crash. Stop this monkeying around and get some more coconuts. <laughs> There they are! The more I thought about the dragon, the more I started to worry there might be one around every corner. Boom! Ah! <laughs> See you later, Thomas! A dragon? What dragon? A talking chicken? Oh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, Hong Mei, I thought... Oh, dear. Yong Bao wants me to take a dragon to the New Year party. Ah, oh, wow. That is amazing. The dragon is big and noisy. You're so lucky. I didn't feel lucky. I couldn't stop worrying about the dragon. I imagined something big and loud and scary. Thomas, what's wrong? I really, really don't want to pull the dragon. What? But thank you. I'm sure it is a big honor. But will you pull the dragon, Yongbao? Oh, okay. I guess I can take the dragon. And you can take the lion! Oh, okay. Thanks. Lion? Not lion! You. I'm glad I'm pulling you, Anan -an and Yinlong. I guess I don't have to take the lion after all. Oh, oh yes, yes, you, you do, do, Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's in Town from now on. What? What? When did this happen? Nobody told me! Y you can't move Henry as well, sir! Why don't you just, just go ahead and change everything? Shall I push my coaches from now on instead of pulling them, sir? Or done! Come on, Annie Clarabelle! Order. Let me take you on Thomas's branch line for a change. The fat controller is changing everything. No, Gordon! What are you doing? You can take the express, Nia. I'm going to shunt trucks in the yard. The fat controller wants to change everything. Gordon, I've had quite enough of this nonsense. Hurry up, Paxton! I'm going to fill up with diesel for a change. Really? I thought steam engines filled up with steam. First, Edward leaves Titmouth sheds, and now Henry's moving out too. Oh, maybe now Edward can come back. But, Golden, what about your diesel fuel? Well, Edward, what do you think? Thanks for asking, Gordon. Again. But I'm very happy at Wellsworth. Uh, uh oh! You better hurry back to Nutford and collect your coaches, Gordon. The fat controller says you're causing confusion, confusion and, and delay. delay. 
Wow, Philip! How do you make your voice do that? You are usually one of my most sensible engines, Gordon. But today you're being very silly indeed. If you're not going to pull the express, then you can go back to your shed. Fine, sir. I will. I don't mind if I stay in Tidmouth's sheds forever and ever. Let the fat controller change everything if he wants to. He can make the Northwestern Railway as silly as he likes, for all I care. Decorated engine parade at the Great Railway Show. So did I. Oh, come on. And Percy's just coming back from pulling the mail train. Wow. These sound like the best engines ever. <laughs> if I want to fit in here. <laughs> oh. Rebecca was so fast that she got to Vickers Town early. And that meant she was in the way. Who's that on my platform? Excuse me. Oopsies. <laughs> I'll answer you in just a minute. What are you doing on my platform? And where are my passengers? Oh, no. I think I picked up your passengers by mistake. What? Who is that? Rebecca? How did you get here before me? Oh, I thought you were the one behind me, little brother. Why can't you call me Gordon? Because I'm your big brother, which makes you my little brother. Little brother. Oh, you think you're so cool, don't you? Whoopsie! Off I go again! I don't want to be late on my first day. All the other engines are so fast and strong and compete in competitions. I hope I won't be known as a slow coach. I know! I'll leave straight away so I won't be late. Hey, wait! Look oh, at oh, 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 you! Oh, 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 Rebecca was so early to pick up passengers from the cruise ship... Excuse me! ...that she was in the way again. Oops! Sorry! Ah, here's something that can be reused. Oh, hello, Duck. Hello, Rag. Why are you so excited about an old car tyre? <laughs> an old car tyre to you, Duck. But bung on a couple of chains and this will make a brilliant swing for the kiddies' playground. Repair, recycle, reuse. Ha! Ah, with a new leg, this could be repaired and good as new. Love to stop and chat, Reg, but I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Oh, all right. Bye, then. 
<laughs> oh dear. But it could be recycled as a lovely flower pot. Now, where can I find a coach? Great. There's Hannah. She doesn't look busy. <clears throat> I have a very special job for you, Hannah. Collecting the children from school. Ooh, yay! Oh, can we go fast? Children love going fast! Now, Hannah, there are two ways of doing things. The Great Western Way or the wrong faster, way. Faster, do faster! Please! My coach! Dark! Wait! Stop! <sighs> Sorry, Duck. I need Hannah while Henrietta's at the steamworks. Oh, sorry, Toby. I'm sure I'll find another coach. But that was easier said than done. Hello, Edward. Will you be using these slip coaches all afternoon? Yes, Duck. I'm afraid I will. Sorry, Duck. We'll be up at Cullen Castle. Have to go now. Bye! Uh, Gordon, no! Right. Why is there never a spare coach around when you need one? Hello. Who's that? Who's looking for a coach? <gasps> Who said that? Over here, that's it. This way. You said you were looking for a coach, and here I am. I'm Dexter. I'm Duck. Uh, how long have you been here? I was shunted here years ago when my axles went. But what's the job? I'm ready to roll. Well, I'm not sure... Come you... on, chop, chop. Just pull me out and we'll be on our way. Well, I do need a coach. <laughs> Take it going. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daxter. I do need a coach, but I need one I can actually pull. I can be useful, honestly. I just need some new wheels. Any kind of wheels. I'm not fussy. Try to smile, Thomas. And if you can't, then just pretend to be happy. It's called acting. It's what we star do all the time. <laughs> Hard work pretending to be happy. Wow, that looks just like the real Taj Mahal. Pretty special, isn't it? This is a movie set, Thomas. It's where dreams come true. <sighs> I just wish I was in one. In a world full of confusion and delay, only one engine can save a day. Thomas the Tank Engine, you're a hero. I'm just being really useful, Mom. Thomas the Tank Engine is Big Hero One, coming to a cinema near you. <sighs> Cheer up, Thomas. I guess we can't all be action heroes. Oh, have they taken you off the movie now, Rajiv? No, of course not. Then why are you delivering trucks? Uh, I'm not really delivering trucks. I I'm acting. <laughs> it's movie dog. You wouldn't understand. Ah, Thomas, I've got another job for you. So, I wasn't in the movie, but I did enjoy helping on set. It was fun, and it felt good to be busy. Unlike someone I knew. Rajiv, have you filmed your scene yet? No, still waiting. Thomas, I need more flowers. Uh, sorry, Rajiv, got a dash. <laughs> I've got lots of really useful jobs to do. 
but when I returned with the flowers, everyone was gone. Hey, Rajiv. Bringing you your trucks. On my way to deliver my trucks, I saw many more new things. Amazing palaces and monuments. Very high bridges. And even animals traveling on top of trains. <laughs> Shima, why have you stopped? I'm waiting for her to wake up. Why don't you blow your whistle to make her move? That's what the fat controller would tell <laughs> us to do. <laughs> but Thomas, cows are very special to many people in India. And if a cow wants to sleep, well, we let it sleep. Oh, okay, Shima. I'll let her sleep too. See you later. I couldn't believe it. Elephants, goats, chickens, cows. It felt to me like the animals were in charge of the railway in India. I didn't think that could ever happen on Sodor. Thomas, the tank engine. You've come in on the wrong platform. Ah! You're causing confusion and delay. Watch where you're going. <gasps> oh, I really need to stop daydreaming. Crumbling crowns. Oh. Rajiv, I'm so glad you're here. I'm sure you are. But what are you doing down there? Oh, uh, I came off the rails. Oh, could you fetch a breakdown crane, please? <laughs> um... They'll probably give your crown an extra polish for rescuing me. Do you think so? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rajiv. Oh... What's that? <laughs> and hello to you too, Mrs. Elephant. <laughs> uh, what do you do? I'm not sure we see a way to lie on this. Like me. <gasps> I'm green. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> At least you're back on the rails again, James. And just in time, too. Henry's been delayed. The fat controller wants you to take his heavy goods train. <laughs> <laughs> For a heavy goods train, this certainly feels very light. Maybe green makes you stronger. Strong and green like Henry, that's me. Maybe you should be repainted green, Rosie. <laughs> then you'll be as strong as me and Henry. Well, maybe you should stop showing off before you have another crash. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Look out, Edward! Ah. Oh, no! Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> this is too 
much. Not another bad dream. <sighs> I'm so glad the Fat Controller let us borrow you while Spencer is on loan. Oh, I see you've gotten your silver paint polished. Very smart. Silver? Oh, yes. This is what I call looking splendid. Oh, don't I look marvelous? Stop showing off. back here. Sorry about that. If you keep showing off, James, you'll have another crash. 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 have told the truth, but maybe this was a chance to be a fun tour guide, just like Shane. Yeah, that's me. I'm Thomas the, uh... Hippopotamus? Thomas the Hippopotamus. <laughs> uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm Thomas the Tour Train, and, uh, hop on and let's roll! Welcome to the Outback, a, um, wide, dirty land full of, uh, mysterious, weird things and funny-looking animals. This ought to be a laugh, eh, Aubrey? <laughs> oh, yes! Crocodiles. This is the place they live. There's ten million of them and, uh, they eat cars. Huh? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> He's making a total warmth out of himself. And what's that? Oh, uh, a luxury mansion for, uh, ladybugs. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite remember all the facts. So instead, I had fun making things up. Just like Shane. And look, there's a giant bunny rabbit. Really? I'm pretty sure that's a kangaroo. Um, no, no, that's a, a, a kangaroo rabbit. What's that big red thing way across the desert? That's a big red bus, yeah. And it's driven by the Queen of Australia, Queen Kylie the <laughs> Third. <laughs> Are you sure you're a tour guide? Of course, I'm a professional. Thomas, you've taken the wrong track. You need to stop and go back. I should have listened to Aubrey, but that would mean admitting I wasn't really a tour guide, and uh, I didn't want to have to do that. Where are we? Thomas, stop! The old rickety bridge hasn't been used in years. Well, Aubrey's right. It could be dangerous. It looks all right to me. <laughs> ah! Ah! tour train at all. I got us stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now what do we do? It's Isla. Oh, Isla! Come save us! Help! Isla! Isla! Oh, she can't hear us. We'll never get back home now. And anything could happen out here in the outback. <laughs> 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 